plane of the Milky Way in a cluster of nearly 10,000 primordial stars. The planet B6020-26 is better known by its unofficial nickname, the Methuselah planet, after the oldest person in the Bible. The reason this has been known as the Methuselah planet is because that cluster is about 12 billion years old or so. Earth is a planetary teenager compared to old Methuselah. Roughly 8 billion years before the Earth is formed, Methuselah is a young gas giant, perhaps with raging tempests and an entourage of moons. Eons pass, and the winds and the storms abate, leaving behind a peaceful world. stars loom in the sky. These are the burned out cores of long dead stars haunting the cluster. In the very dense environment of a globular cluster, you have lots of stellar collisions, near collisions, systems in which one star is kicked out and another one kicks in. In a cosmic dance of gravity, similar to the migration of planets, one of the stars is kicked out and replaced by Methuselah's parent star. Methuselah is now a planet with two suns. Every day has two dawns and two sunsets. Every cloud and every object casts two shadows. Over time, the original parent star begins to expand a sign that the star is dying. It swells until it becomes a giant red star and spills onto the neutron star. The neutron star devours the red giant. Today, Methuselah is a world imprisoned by the skeletons of two dead stars, the stripped core of the red giant and its companion, the pulsing neutron star. Methuselah is a survivor. But nothing compares to the weird anomaly of a pulsar some 918 light years from Earth in the constellation of Virgo. From afar, a pulsar looks like a blinking light. But up close, Pulsars machine gun their surroundings with deadly radiation. They are no place for planets. Yet something interferes with the precision of this pulsar. One explanation is that the anomaly is caused by a planet. But many astronomers are skeptical that planets orbiting a pulsar can exist. The reason that's a problem is because pulsars are formed in these incredible explosions. When a red giant star explodes, a titanic fireball known as a supernova unleashes as much energy in one minute as our sun generates in a lifetime. When a star goes supernova, the shockwave is so immense it's hard to imagine any planet surviving that. When the cosmic dust clears, all that remains is the crushed core of the red giant, pulsing in the heart of an expanding debris field. Matter blasted from the colossal explosion falls back to the pulsar and forms a disk. Within this chaos, a new world arises from fire and destruction, a planetary zombie raised from the carcass of the former red giant star. It's amazing that planets could form in that environment. A 
planet orbiting a pulsar will give you the feeling of being in a disco bar with a very strong strobe light, which is the pulsar. 